Welcome to another video from Mr. Hegarty on fractions and percentages this time. So, in this video, uh, we're going to do the following. Now, just take a moment in your books, write classwork, fractions and percentages is your title, and today's date. Um, uh, so, write that in your book. And I'm just going to tell you what we're going to learn this lesson. So make sure you have this neatly in your book. You don't have to write your objectives for today, but I'll just explain them to you. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to convert a fraction to a percentage, and that's level 5, level 6 work. And then we're going to go back the other way, and we're going to take ourselves a percentage and convert it into a fraction. Again, level 5 or level 6 work. So at this stage in your book, just make sure you have um, classwork, the title and the date. No need to copy the objectives. As always, I'll do a few examples. I, I'm using the uh, picture method to represent the problem. Make sure you copy the picture accurately, write all steps and do each example, then attempt the questions. Okay, here is a typical question. In your book, make sure you write example one and we are going to express the fraction one-fifth as a percentage. So we are given a fraction, that's a fifth, and we are going to convert it into a percentage. Okay? Right. First things first, let's represent this problem as we've been doing for a while now in a picture. Firstly, draw a box, and that box represents 100%. The box we are going to draw always represents 100%. So this box here represents 100. We want to work out what a fifth means. What does the fraction 1 out of 5 mean in terms of percent? Well, the whole box is 100%. So we're going to divide it into 5. This 5 on the bottom tells us we want to split this box into 5. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we have shared it into five. Now, what must go in each box? Okay, a hundred is divided equally into five equal parts. What goes in each box? Well, 20 does. 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, 20 here, and 20 here. Because 20 at 20 is 40, at 20 is 60, at 20 is 80, at 20 is 100. You could alternatively in your calculator take 100 the thing you're trying to share out, and divide it by 5 to work out how much goes in each box, and you'll get 20. So this question asks us, what does 1 fifth mean? Well, 1 fifth, therefore, is one of the five boxes. So maybe just this one. So 1 fifth, as a percentage, is 20%. So 1 fifth is equivalent to 20%. Right, make sure you write down the next example, example two. We're now going to express three-fifths as, as a percentage. This is just a shortcut for the word percentage. Okay, as we did before, let's have a box to represent what again? Well, 100%. So our box represents 100%. Okay, now we want to split our box up into, yes, fives. We want to split the box into five equal parts, one, two, three, four, five. What goes in each box? Well, it should be 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. And you could work that on a calculator by doing 100 divided by five. Now, we want three fifths, okay? We want three of the boxes, so we're going to take ourselves, let's take this one here, this one here and this one here. So three out of five, three of the five boxes, three fifths, actually represents how many percent? 20, 40, 60. 60, and don't forget your percentage sign. Okay, let's do example three now. Here's example three. Make sure you write this in your book. We want to express three quarters as a percentage. So, as we did before, what do we start to do? We draw a picture what, or, or a box. What does the box represent? Well, the whole box represents 100%. Now, 
Now, this time, how much, how much do we want to divide this box up into? How many equal portions do we want to share the box into? Well, we want to share the box into four equal parts. So one, two, three, and four. Now the question is, what must go in each box? Well, if you think about it, 25, 25, 25, and 25. Because four lots of 25 are 100. Again, you could have worked that out if you're using the calculator as 100 divided by 4, shared into four equal parts, and it would tell you 25 goes in each box. Now, we want three quarters, or three of the four boxes. So we'll take that one, this one, and this one. So in total, 25, add 25 is 50, add 25 is 75. Don't forget your unit, percent. Three quarters is the same thing as 75%. Now we've done three examples. You should be able now to do the following questions which will be given to you on the sheet. So uh, pause the video at this stage. I want you to do all of these questions. When you've done them and I've marked them, then I want you to do the last part of this video. So here are the questions. Okay, I'm not going to go through the answers on this video. I'll do that in class. So there are the questions I want you to do. Do each of those. And now we'll finish off with a couple more examples, just actually this time now, to go from a percentage to a fraction. So write down example four. We want to express 10% as a fraction, not as a percent anymore, and it's got to be in its simplest form. Now percent, you should know, means out of 100. Percent means, and you should write this down as a definition in your book, out of 100. So 10% means 10 out of or over 100. So there we have, we have a fraction. 10% means the same thing as this. So I'm just going to just take a moment actually here. I'm going to write 10% is actually 10 out of 100. And there's our fraction. Now is it in its simplest form? We did this the other day. Can you think of a number that divides into both uh, 10 and 100? Now, some of you may say 2, and you're right, and 5, and again, you're right. But what's the biggest number? Well, the biggest number is 10. 10 divides into 10, and 10 divides into 100. If we divide the top and bottom by 10, we will get our answer. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 100 divided by 10 is 10. There is our fraction in simplest form. So 10% is the same thing as 1 over 10. Last example. Example 5, write this in your books, express 32% as a fraction in its simplest form. So 32%, what does that mean? Remember what percent means? It means out of 100. So 32% means 32 out of or over 100. Can you think of a number that goes into 32 and 100? Well, I can think that 2 does, so I'm going to divide top and bottom by 2, and I'd get myself 16 out of 50. Okay? Anything you can think of that goes into 16 and 50, well, again, 2 does, so we should simplify it further. Divide top and bottom by 2, and we would get 8 over 25. Now, can we think of anything that goes into 8 and 25? Well, I can't, so I stop there. So 32% as a fraction is 8 over 25, or 8 out of 25. Now we've done those examples, a few questions for you to try yourself. Again, this is on the sheet. So now it's time to do these questions here, these eight questions, expressing each of those percentages as a fraction, and make sure you put it in its simplest form. And that's all for this les lesson. Thank you for watching.